Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, bringing you guys more My Hero Academia Smash Rising here on the channel. And today, I'm gonna be doing a showcase video for, uh, you know, this is really weird. I haven't done any kind of showcasing uh, when it comes to this game, and that's because, you know, it's easy to showcase units, but it's kind of hard to showcase actual attacks and stuff. But I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it and see um, how it goes and whatnot. And so today, uh, the first uh, attack that we're going to be showcasing is Deku's ultimate skill, the Rising Fest Deku, the um, Cowling Smash, I think it's called. So we're going to be showcasing this uh, Deku here, uh, this Deku ultimate skill, and just show you guys what it can do and if it's even worth summoning for and uh, all of that good stuff. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, don't forget to Detroit smash that like button down below to show your support in the description below. Be sure to check out the Smash Rise and Discord and Twitter, especially the Discord, so you can stay up to date with the game, get help with the game, and all that good stuff in the comments below. Let me know if you have this Deku card. Do you like this card? Do you not like this card? Um, do you think this card could have been better, especially since it was the first rising fest of smash rising and uh, all that good stuff and if you're new around here you like smash rising and other gotcha games consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss another upload here on the channel so let's go ahead and talk about this rising fest deku uh ultimate skill and then i'm gonna go into i'm gonna go into the drink um the drink things first and then i'll probably go into sports fest and then do that and just kind of showcase the attack and everything because i mean you guys have seen me use the attack but we've never actually sat down and talked about the attack so um it is a yellow skill uh by the way so it is a yellow skill i can't remember what yellow is called in this game i mean there's still power speed tech um, I think I'm not sure what purple and yellow are called. I think yellow might still be heart and then purple might be chaos I'm not sure who knows. Uh, I'll probably go look it up a little bit later So anyways, you guys can see the stats here. Uh, the highest stat is HP followed by defense So this is more of like a, a tank card if anything um, You know the attack stat on this card is kind of buns uh, well, let me, not, let, me not, let me not say buns, but it could be so much better, right? Because, like, there are attack cards out there that have 3k attack. So, for this one to be a Rising Fest card and not have, like, really high attack, it's actually really interesting. Um, but, yeah, the defense is high. HP is really high. Uh, hit is okay. Avoidability is okay. And then luck is okay as well. I mean, those are, those are like, the lower stats. So, those are kind of, like, you know, whatever. Um... But yeah, no, this is definitely like a tankish kind of card. And so essentially what this card does, it takes 44 SP. Um, you essentially, you jump forward or you put the power through your body. That's what Google Translate says. Uh, and then you jump forward, dealing a punch. You deal 231% damage to uh, enemies within a small area. So you guys have seen me use it, but that's basically what it does. So it doesn't do anything special like up your stats. Well, I mean, well, the card itself ups your stats because, it's you know, that's how this game works. But it's not like, you know, let's go back to Smash Tap where we have full cow Deku where when you attack, you raise your attack and speed for 10 seconds, right? And you become like one of the most busted characters in the game. No, it's not like that at all. So I'm hoping that we do get cards like that. I think that would be absolutely amazing if we got cards like that. But I don't think we'll ever get um, a card uh, like that, you know, unfortunately. Now, there aren't any purple events out. I could have sworn. Well, last night there was like the purple drink event. But unfortunately, we don't we don't have that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. And I'm just going to be using that attack. Uh, I'm going to take it off of... I'm going to I'm gonna take it off of auto. And then... Oh, well, I probably won't. Well, no. I probably won't. I probably won't only because uh, I definitely need to. Um, I need my other two characters to do what they're supposed to do. So, okay, why did it do that? Okay, there we go. So let's keep on. So as you guys can see, we we basically power up and then bow. You just we just we just punch the hell out of Minetta, dude. Like, <laughs> look at this. Yeah, wait. Bow. Is Minetta dead? Okay. So we can't we can't do our attack anymore. Up, oh, never mind. We're in rising mode. So this up, oh, we're all in rising mode. This is good. So let's keep on popping this ultimate. Bow. So like honestly, I mean like the damage from the ultimate. Let me see. Let's look at this damage. So like it's really hard to tell the damage with the ultimate. So what I might en end up doing is I'll probably do like I think I think cross if cross crisis is open, I can do cross crisis with Deku. And I think that would be much better 
at showing you guys like the attack and stuff. Plus, I do need these red drinks. Honestly, I'll take those red drinks on anyway, for real. So if Cross Crisis, oh, Cross Crisis is actually open and it's purple, so that's good. Okay, let's take a look at this Deku real quick and let's see what goes on. So, I think what I'm gonna do, I think what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this dramatic, right? I'm gonna move, I'm, I'm gonna move Bakugo up here. Uh, let's see, actually, attack. Yeah, yeah, all right, so I'm gonna put Bakugo there, and then, honestly, oh wow, we get more attack that way, okay. Let's see, oh, this Todoroki hat, how much Todoroki? Oh my gosh, okay, that Todoroki card has a lot of attack. Does it have more than Stain? He does. So, if we do that, okay, all right. Um. Yeah, these, these are literally like all my strongest cards. <laughs> Actually, What's crazy is that, wait, what's this Deku's attack? Only 18, dog, get off. Get get out of here, get out of here. Let's get, let's get, let's do that, let's do that. Okay, so my Deku is sitting at 29K attack right now, y'all. Okay, all right, and so now let's go ahead and actually let's take off assembly call and let's go ahead and go in and I'm gonna just use that attack over and over again and just see how it goes. Normally, I would use his dramatic because his dramatic actually has a wider uh, range, and I might actually do dramatic showcases as well. So I'll do ultimate showcases and then dramatic showcases. So let's go ahead, and I'm just using the attack. And look, I mean that took that, that took about half of his HP. Okay, so oh wow, oh wow, 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 wow. All right, one, two. I mean, we can do the attack again, but I want to wait. So, okay, so we just we just hit rising mode. All right, lit. So, I mean, the attack itself, like the it, like it doesn't give you good stats, right? Except for HP, like it gives you a lot of HP and a lot of defense, which is fine, which is great, you know. But then it's like, I mean, it's a skill, you know. And you're you're doing 231% damage. <laughs> That's a lot. Of, I mean, that's a lot of damage. I mean, some of these numbers in this game are freaking ridiculous to me. Um, but like, we're 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 botting them with with this uh, this Deku is. I mean, of course, this is this is probably one of the easier cross crises to do. I'm not sure how you were even able to enter here, but okay. Um, thanks, Aizawa. I mean, I'm good, but I appreciate it, my guy. Oh, I can't even see the. Oh, I can't even see the amount of damage we're doing. Oh wait, where's my numbers? Where's the damage numbers? I don't know where the damage. Up, oh, nope. Up. Oh, oh the, oh, the damage numbers are at the top, and I can't see them because he's so dang on tall. Okay. All right, we literally just swept through that event. How do you showcase attacks? I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I guess. I guess that's how we showcase the attacks out here. So. I mean, that was probably a really good, that was a really good example of, like, I guess showcasing the attack, only because it's a yellow attack, we're in a purple event, so we're doing a lot of damage to purple units, right? So, and that's what you want, that's what you want, you always want type advantage when it comes to these events. Now, when it comes to yellow and purple, they are effective against each other, so that's, like, that's where it gets a little bit complicated, because if they start hitting you, you're gonna take more damage, but if you hit them, they take more damage. So um, that that gets that that gets uh, a little rough sometimes. But at the same time, though. Um, oh wait, can I switch to a? Can I only do a three-person team here? Oh, boo! Wait, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, you can do a one-person team. Ooh. But I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to do one v three. That that's a terrible idea. That's that's an absolute terrible idea. Uh, is there anyone else who's purple that we can like? Oh, Mineta? Really? Well, you know what? That makes sense. Let's fight Mineta. Let's fight Mineta. Let's showcase the attack one more time and see how it goes. Because, like, it's a it's a solid card. Like I said, it's a very defensive card, right? It has a lot of HP and a lot of defense. It's very defensive. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but you know, it's one of those things where it's like when you're coming off a smash tap, it's like when you're when you're coming off a smash tap, 
you really you really want like power you want like really strong cards you want to basically muscle your way through the game and i know i want to muscle my way through the game because that's just how i am um so it's really it's really odd for deku to have a defensive card you know i mean i don't know it's just it's just really interesting for deku to have a defensive card but you know especially with like with him being the way he is and stuff i mean well you know him as a character i guess but like i don't know it's just you know i don't know i feel like rising like cow smash like why doesn't it have like 3k attack and like 3k no, not 3k like 2.5k hit or something right i don't know i feel like those those stats would have been a little bit better for this deku and not 3.2k hp and 2.9 defense like that's that's kind of this is a little bit ridiculous to me i don't know like that's just that's a lot <laughs> that i mean i mean i mean it'd be a really good card for like momo i think honestly i feel like this card would be so much better just to add stats and not even as an ultimate you know or or rather like not not as an ultimate skill that you use on deku i feel like i could slap this on momo and it'll make her hp jump severely and her defense and you want momo to be a tank because she heals and so you want her to have a lot of hp and a lot of defense so she can take the hits gather her sp and then start healing your team you want her to do that so i feel like this card would be so much better on momo so i might re I'm, i might actually rearrange um how my cards are how my units are because i don't know they just i feel like they just need to be rearranged but anyways that is gonna go ahead and do it for this ultimate showcase it's this is a little bit wonky um just because again i've never showcased an actual attack before i've showcased units and showcasing units is very easy but showcasing attacks is like huh that's <laughs> it's really interesting so i don't know we'll see how it goes but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless if you guys did don't forget to detroit smash that like button down below to show your support in the description below check out smash tries and discord and twitter in the comments below let me know if you have that deku skill do you like that deku skill do you use it do you use it on deku or do you actually use it on another character like momo for example because it gives out really good of defensive stats and if you're new around here you like smash rising other gotcha games consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss another upload here on the channel but with that i am out thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace